everyone welcome to my channel today we're going to be talking about female issues now we're going to talk about taking care of our body now i tend to focus a lot in taking care of your face your neck your decollete but there are other parts of the female body that needs special attention so that's what we're going to be addressing today and that is basically how to clean your body as a female now we all know you have to take shower but when you get in the shower what do you do do you stand in the shower do you let the water just run over your body and you know basically probably just wash with a soap just rub the soap on you and walk out well if you do that you're really not washing yourself properly as a female there are special areas on the body that you really and truly need to pay special attention to now for me personally when i go in the shower i like to wash a certain part of my body first and last okay so i would go in the shower and i would put a shower on and then i would wash that special part first with a clean wash rug and the, the the sides and stuff like that I take care of all of that I rinse first and then I personally use a special soap there not a bar soap but one of those feminine wash I tend to use and there's nothing wrong with using a, a soap that is fragrance free down there some people just use the same soap that they use over their entire body there well people have been doing that for years and nothing is wrong with that but for me I like you know a little special care there now when you get in the shower and you're gonna take care of that area you want to make sure you're using a clean wash rug now some people do use their hands but it's not exfoliating the area and you cannot use a salt scrub or a sugar scrub to exfoliate that area so you definitely need a wash rug now with this wash rug you're gonna make sure to scrub the two sides and that's the outer tie area before you actually deal with the inside and you're gonna use a wash rug tightly close and wash the outer area when that is done then it's time to go on the inside when you get on the inside you have to take special care of the two crease there's two crease inside and you're gonna gentle use the wash rug and you're gonna wash those two areas if you know what I mean now when you're done you're gonna rinse that off special 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 attention okay now for some people you have other things that you need to flip back and you need to give a good wash if it's, especially if it is a little large and you know what I'm talking about also while for some people it's totally impossible so you're gonna just make sure to do that area do that area now when it comes on to the other part the lower part you do not need to stick anything in there okay it's not necessary but beyond the circle everything in there is going to take care of itself however some people like to do a vinegar douche or you know a store-bought douche if you're a person who does that then it's all on you but you really and truly do not need to because it do cleanse itself now drink a lot of water a lot of cranberry juice and stuff like that and keep flushing the system out eat some pineapple and that's going to keep down there even nice and clean and fresh from inside just make sure you focus on the outside now for some people that don't shave if you do not shave i would suggest that you take special care of down there first of all if you don't shave there's no passageway there's a lot of things blocking the passageway so when you get in the shower to wash you're gonna whatever it is that you use on that area you're gonna use it to properly wash that first all of that because when you tend to pee it's gonna collect in the hair that you didn't shave now personally for me I like it clean shave because at certain age and I'm getting on in age and I really think that the older you get is the stronger the urine is I'm thinking I don't know it depending on the amount of water you drink and all of that but I want to wash right after peeing so if if I don't wash I'm not comfortable so I have to walk around with baby wipes and stuff like that so just imagine if you have 
here there and that you didn't shave it's gonna be like you know really really bad and with that said you need to pay special 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 attention even more so to the outer outer you know part if you don't shave now once you've finished washing that part always remember it don't stop there you have the back part that you need to pay special attention to and you already know that you're not supposed to wash from the back to the front you got to wash from the front to the back and you need to wash the back really really well sometimes i take like such a long time washing the back oh i just feel like i have to wash and sometimes i would shower do everything coming out and then i'm like okay i gotta wash the back again all right so ladies ladies do not only wash the front you need to give the back a good wash all right because whatever is at the back would actually come in the front all right and you don't want that you don't want to have no ease and all of these kind of things so you got to wash down there now as I said first thing when you get in the shower you do that kind of washing you really don't have to follow my my you know steps you could do whatever you normally do but what you need to follow is to make sure that down there is washed properly all right like really and truly washed now when you have that special time you need to wash down there at least twice per day okay I'm a clean freak I would do it three four times a day especially if I'm home but if I'm not home it's gonna be two times per day and I'm gonna be walking with baby wipes that special time you cannot take one shower I do not recommend you taking one shower when you have that because when you go to sleep you're sleeping six seven eight hours at night and all of that is stale you don't wake up in the morning with that and jump you know put some makeup on or whatever and run out and all of that is going on you need to wash that area at that special time twice per day at least at least notice I said at least because some people are very heavy and when it's heavy sometimes you need to just wash at least three times if you know what I mean but once a day is not gonna work at that special time ladies take care of yourself do you know this sometimes you work some places and when you enter the bathroom and you know females get out of the bathroom it have that nasty smell that nasty smell is because they don't wash as often especially at that time ladies you need to wash 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 now after you finish all of that washing down there guess what that's not the only place you need to wash you need to wash your underarm you need to scrub 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 and underarms you could use an exfoliator a brown sugar with olive oil you could use that once per week wash the underarm get rid of all that dead skin cells a lot of times when people tend to have eye body odor is because all of that pours under the arms it's clogged and you need to wash it scrub 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 scrubber 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 wash it every time you take a shower don't go in wash off oh I'm doing a quickie nope under arms pay special attention scrub your underarms and make it clean and guess what ladies this is one other thing that a lot of ladies ignore and you don't need to ignore it because it's a part of your body and it's very important it's underneath here under your breast you gotta wash under your breast if you don't have hanging then and it's right out there you still take the wash rag and circle around all right now if you have hanging like most of us do <laughs> especially when you're at a certain age you gotta lift it and you gotta go under right under make sure you exfoliate on the deer and have on the deer clean and another thing when you get out of that shower it is extremely important to dry under there because you could get sweaty and with the sweat comes foul smell some women do have a funny smell coming from there because they do not dry on their deer properly so you got to make sure under there is dry okay so under arms 
under the breast, the front and the back, you pay special attention to those areas when you go in the shower. And I know a lot of young kids watch my show and sometimes they send me emails like asking questions about these little things. When I was growing up, we have a special you know series at school where they teach you how to wash from the front to the back and all of that i don't know if they still have these things in schools but these are very important and believe it or not you would be surprised at some of the letters that i receive from young kids that really do not know how to properly take care of themselves and i decided once that i probably should do a series for them because it's really surprising how many of these letters i receive so in order for you to take care of your body to have your body looking good feeling good and smelling good you definitely have to wash yourself and you focus your armpits your on the breast your front and your back okay so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to share the video and leave a comment just tell me how you go about taking care of your body and if there's anything that I miss you know because I probably just talk and I miss something important just leave it there and give your recommendation also thank you all and I'll see you in my next video bye bye